And welcome back to Echo Base Network. Coach here, Nick there, and we are looking at, is Kathleen Kennedy in power or not? Nick, all week long, I've been hearing uh, from from various YouTube channels, from various uh, media, that Kathleen Kennedy is remaining at Lucasfilm. Her contract's been extended, but she's powerless. That's the word that I keep hearing over and over again, is powerless. And Yellow Flash actually came out with a video today that I thought was really good, where uh -huh. he basically kind of debunked all of that as just talk. Uh, what's your take, just right here in the beginning, of is Kathleen Kennedy still at Lucasfilm, and is she powerless or not? Uh, just pretty much my thought on it is the same thing I always think when I hear this kind of stuff is... I have no idea. Uh, I, I don't work there. I, I have no clue how much power she has. Um, but outside of that, just thinking about or just listening to, to the rumors, um, it just doesn't sound like, you know, it, it just doesn't sound like that would actually happen. Like she would be the head of Lucasfilm, but have no power to do anything. Uh, now I will say that Cameron Pasha made an interesting point when he was on with force of light entertainment, where he basically said when Disney fired him, they basically said, you know, we don't want anybody to know that you're fired. We don't want you to talk about it. We're going to have somebody else do your job. And, but we're going to pay you your salary for the next year, basically just go home um, and collect a paycheck. Yeah. Uh, and so maybe they're not publicly saying that she's, that she's gone, but she is and doesn't have any control there. And they're just still paying her salary for another year. Yeah. I, I, I could see that being a possibility, well, but if she's actually still there, it's hard for me to believe that she has no control or power over anything. I don't see her as being powerless at all. And here's the thing, guys. I know a lot of you watching this video, you want to believe that she is powerless. I get that. Uh, if that is your mindset, like there's a lot of people who have a deep, deep disdain for Kathleen Kennedy and they want her gone so bad they can't stand it. A lot of fans will not watch any Disney Star Wars at all until Kathleen Kennedy is gone. I am mm -hmm. not there. And I don't think Nick is there either because our main premise is we just want great Star Wars. We don't care if KK's there or not. But if she was going to be powerless, if they were going to do that to her, she wouldn't be at, at Lucasfilm right now. She would have, yeah. she would already be gone if that were the case. What I think is much more likely, and, and some of you are going to roast me in the comments for this, but I'm going to go ahead and say it because this is what I think, guys. I think there's a possibility that Kathleen Kennedy, uh, one of two things has happened. She's, she was either brought in and said, this is what you're going to do. Get this ship going back this way. Or she's learned from a lot of her mistakes. She's finding out what Star, what Star Wars the fans will support because in her ignorance, she didn't know. And with all of the failure of the sequel trilogy, now she knows. She knows what great Star Wars is. It's called Mandalorian. It's called Mandalorian episodes 12 through 16. And she's going to let those two guys take the Star Wars movies and run with it and give the fans good Star Wars and get this thing back on track. Well, unless you were just an absolute idiot and dumb beyond measure, you know, you wouldn't do that. But anybody with any common sense, and Kathleen Kennedy surely has some common sense, and I'm not defending her, but I'm just saying surely to goodness with all of her experience, she has a little bit of sense about her. Uh, if she is allowed to make a change, then maybe that's what's happening. And a lot of people, Nick, are saying that uh, WDW Pro broke this. I don't think mm -hmm. so. I think this all started with a Grace Randolph tweet about the Favreau team getting access to uh, to full control over Star Wars movies. What do you think? I, I have no clue. I can't even keep up with the rumor <laughs> mill anymore. And the thing is, none of it's verifiable. So it's right. it, it's all speculation. And I just, I really don't waste a whole lot of time on any of the rumor stuff. If I see something like that's rumor stuff, 
I mean, I pretty much click off of it and don't even dig into it because honestly, I don't care until something official comes out on what exactly is going on. It, everybody's just going to be speculating to that point. Now, I, I would love for her to be powerless and for her to be out of there. Um, I don't think she should be in charge of Lucasfilm. I don't care if she turned over a new leaf uh, or whatever. Uh, I think she did enough harm to the franchise to where she doesn't deserve to be in the position. Uh, she's had so many problems with, with directors and projects and stuff. Uh, I think she's just bad for Star Wars, bad for the company, and should 100% be gone. But regardless of any of that, um, you know, uh, I, I I just want there to be good Star Wars coming out, you know. I, I 100% agree with you there. Uh, she, there's, I can't even imagine how much great Star Wars I'm going to need to be able to see to even, even the the thought of forgiveness for, for Lucasfilm even coming into my mind. I, I think it's unforgivable. Until the, I, yeah. think, I think a new regime, yeah. we have to have a new regime. I, I don't think yep. we could ever, but if they get somebody new in there that's giving us great Star Wars and totally turning it out and the fan base is behind this person, then 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 we won't even think about the sequel trilogy. The se But I can't see Kathleen Kennedy's face and not think about Ryan Johnson and J.J. Abrams and all of that debacle. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, her, her all her, the people that she hired in, I think every single one of those people need to be gone. How funny would it be if freaking Gina Carano took over as head of Lucas? Well, I mean, yeah, I know that would never funny, happen, but, but, but yeah. that would be the ultimate like, huh? Yeah. You know, well, I, I think a lot of people would, would jump back on board. I, I, for Star Wars you know what? As, uh, as unqualified mm. as she is, she could probably do a better job. Yeah. So yeah. anyways, yeah. guys, thank yeah. you so much. Let us know in the comments what you think, and we will see you guys on the next one. See y'all. Thank you so much for watching our video today, and we would like to give a special thank you to all of our members. You make what we do here at Echo Base Network possible, and we appreciate you more than we could ever explain. If you haven't already, join the best Star Wars community on YouTube today here at Echo Base Network, and we appreciate your consideration. As always, we are, you are, Echo Base Network. May the Force be with you, and we'll see you on the next one.